So today we're gonna go and check bee traps. I'm hoping we're gonna have four swarms already caught because I'm bringing four traps to replace those bucks. I'm trying to make good content! I'm tired, man. Huh? Hey, boy, your mama's calling you. Lizzie, your mama's calling you. Oh. You better run. Bye, I love you. Crazy boy. Hand it to me. You're awesome, buddy. I'll show you how to set up the bee traps right now. Take the bee traps. We get the, uh, get some frames that are drawn out with comb. And some empty frames. that are not drawn out. We put our lemongrass oil on one of these little cotton swabs, put it in a Ziploc bag, drop it down in. That's how we set up the boxes. Strap it on the tree and away we go. Good Lord, it'll take about an hour and a half to get down to the hunt glue. We're just driving and driving. Get to my buddy's hunt club. I got one box there. I got one box here. Me and little baby boy riding in the truck, just spending time together, bonding. Drive all the way out here to the countryside. It's hot, winter's rolled down in the truck. Looking good. Get over here to my buddy's other gate. There ain't no bees in that box either. That's three. We end up with seven boxes all together. That's four. I don't know what I was gonna do. That box had bees in it. That's five boxes. We only bought four boxes with it. Get in here. When my boy was asleep, I had to get out of the truck. Open the gate. Box number six, it had bees in it. Two boxes with bees in it so far. Big food plot. All right, guys. So what we ended up with is three traps that have bees in them. That's not bad. I think we'll do all right. I got this one here in the tree stand. Looking out over this massive food plot. Oh, Lilo. Over this massive food plot we have. We'll just sit here and wait till dark and get that box down and replace it with one of these other ones. Then there are actually two on this property that have bees in them. So that won't take long to get them. And then one at our other property. And then we'll take it to the house. Still kind of early cause I wanted to try to get one down before it got too dark to see on camera. Some bees might be coming back and if they do, They'll be pissed. And you'll notice in this video that the best results come if you put your boxes about 10 to 12 feet off the ground. I only got a little five foot ladder that I can carry around in the back of my truck. So some of them only end up being about eight foot off the ground. You can catch bees at that height, but uh, best results come if you put your boxes about 10 to 12 feet off the ground how about right here you'll see that my cameraman is 
still learning his trade. He's not a good flashlight guy. He can't see a lot. This is box number two. Have these in it too. It was dark. We was trying to get done. Hot. Good lord. Yeah, this box is about seven feet off the ground. Makes it easier if there's not any bees in the boxes when I go check them to uh, be able to spray some more lemongrass oil right in front of the door. When they're that height, I can reach that from the ground. But my cameraman ended up being uh, better with his lighting situation here. Truck lights helped out a pretty good bit. But I thought you could see this box a lot better. It ended up being a pretty heavy box full of bees. So, that's about how we do that. Yeah! All in all, I'd say it ended up being a pretty good night. Thanks for watching. Say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe! I hit the bell.